Alright guys, you are watching the video for day 9. Okay, font on this day is tiny for whatever reason. Um, but on the front here, you are going to be simplifying each expression into a single log. So remember, you have several different rules. Um, one of them is that this number in the front can move up to be an exponent. So like on number 3, I would simplify that to log little 5 of x squared minus... Then I would cross my 4 out, make it a y to the 4th. So that would be log 5 of y to the 4th. And then remember that when you have two logs that are subtracted, you can turn that into division. So it would have been x squared over y to the 4. That would have been your answer. Okay. Uh, take a look at number 6 here. Okay. Remember that parentheses, I'm going to follow my PEMDAS. So I'm going to do my parentheses first, that's going to give me a log 2 of 8 over x. Okay, remember that we know that because if it's a minus, it moves into division. And then I can take my 3 here and I can bump it up here. So it would be log little 2 of 8 over x to the power of 3. That would be your answer. Okay, let's do one more like that. Let's jump back and do number 2. So first thing I'm going to do is bump this 5 up, bump this 3 up. So now I have log little 3 of 2 plus log little 3 of x to the 5th, and then log little 3 of y to the 3rd. Okay, then from there, this is a plus, this is a plus. That means that we are multiplying these three. Remember, they're called arguments. So it would be log little 3 of 2x5 y. Three. And remember that the reason we are multiplying is because our problem originally had addition in it. Okay, come down to numbers 7 through 10. Uh, 7 through 10, you're expanding each expression. That means that your logs do not want to share with each other. So, for example, if I was doing number 7, 3 and B3, they do not want to share a log anymore. So I would break it up into log 2 of 3 and log 2 of b3. Now, because these were originally multiplied, when I separate them, I'm going to do it with addition. Then remember that my 3 from the top can move down to the front, which means that my final answer is going to be log little 2 of 3 plus, my 3 is down in the front, log little 2 of b. And that would be your answer. Okay, take a look at number 10. Remember this 4 we said can move down to the front. So it would be 4 log little 7 of 10 over A. And then from there, since 10 and A, these are divided. So whenever they're divided, that means that when you separate, you have to do it with subtraction in between. So I would have 4 log little 7 of 10 minus log little 7 of A. Also keep in mind that since this 4 was originally on the outside, we'd have to put parentheses around it to show that they were both including, um, included in the 4's parentheses. Okay, come down to your little bottom section here. Remember that when you are solving exponentials, you're going to need a calculator for these. Um, you are going to take the log of the base of the exponential. So for example, if I was doing number 7, I have 7 to the 5x plus 7 equals a half. In order for me to get rid of the 7, I'm going to have to do log base 7 on both sides. Then remember that 7 and log 7 cross out with each other. My 5x plus 7 is going to move down. And then this top part here, I'm going to have to use my um, alpha window and then go down to the log base, which is right here. Then I'm going to put a little 7 and a big half. So log 7 of a half is negative 0.35. Now technically that would round up to 0.36 if you're rounding. And then a 5x plus 7. Then from there I would minus my 7 across. So if I do negative 0.36 minus 7, I get negative 7.36. And then from there, I would have to divide that by 5 to get my final answer. 
So divide by 5 here, divide by 5 here. And I'd get x equals negative 1.47. That'd be your answer. Okay, look right next to it at number 13. Remember that I can't get rid of this 3 until I get rid of this 2. So I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. It's going to give me 3 to the 2x plus 1 equals. 8 divided by 2 is a 4. And then from here, for me to get rid of the 3 base, I'm going to have to log 3 both sides. Log 3 and log 3. Then remember that log 3 and 3 cross out. My 2x plus 1 is going to come down. And then log 3 of 4, I'm going to put in the calculator. Remember that it's alpha window to pull that up. And then option 5. So watch me do it. It's alpha window, then go down to option 5. I'm putting a 3 as my little number, a 4 as my big number. I get 1.26. Okay? Then I'm going to minus the 1 across. 1.26 minus 1 is 0.26. Okay, so if I do 1.26 minus 1, I get 0.26, and then I'll divide that by 2. So it's 0.13. Alrighty. Okay, flip over to the back. A couple more to do together, and then you'll have the rest of class to work on your own. Um, let's do a couple that have E's in them. Let's look at number 17. Okay, first step on number 17, you would actually, yeah, you'd have to add your 3 across first. So 21 plus 3, that's going to give you 24. Then from there, you divide by 4 on both sides. So I have e to the 5x equals 24 divided by 4 is 6. And then remember that E is a special base. The only way to get rid of an E is to take the LN of both sides. And remember that there is a button in your calculator that has an LN on it. So these guys cross out. And then I'm going to take the LN of 6. So LN is right here of 6. Okay, so the LN of 6 comes out to be 1.79. 1 1.79. 1 and then also notice that that's not my final answer. After my E crossed out, my 5X is still there. So I have 5X equals 1.79, and then I have to divide by 5 on both sides. So 1.79 divided by 5, I got 0.358, which is going to round to 0.36. Okay. We'll do one more from this section. Um, let's say you're doing number 19. Okay, if it's a one-half in the front, remember the way to get rid of a one-half is to times by two. So I'm going to do two times a half. That's going to give me those cross out. That's going to give me four to the x plus two equals five times two is ten. Then from there, I'm going to log four both sides log 4 the other side. So my 4 and my log 4 are going to cross out with each other. My x plus 2 is going to come down. So I have x plus 2 equals, and then this part I'm going to put in the calculator. So alpha window 5, little 4 here, big 10 here. And I get 1.66. Then to get rid of the plus 2, I'm going to minus 2. 1.66 minus 2 gives me x equals negative 0.34. Okay? Um, also, just to give you a quick little uh, note on number 18, the base is a 7, so you're going to need to log 7 both sides. So I'm going to put log 7 both sides. Just if you need a hint on that one. Okay? All right, last little section here. So remember that when you are trying to cancel out an exponential, you use a log. When you're trying to cross out a log, you use an exponential. So for example, if I was trying to do number, um, let's say 21, okay, I would have um, 2 as my base, 2 as my base, 
2 and log 2 cross out with each other. I have a 1 over 32. And then on the other side, I have a 2 to the x. Then from here, you would have to use your chart. So when I'm looking at my chart, I'm looking for a 32. Here's my chart. 2 to the 5 is the same as 32. But remember that if it's a fraction, I take my 2 to the 5 and I turn it into a 2 to the minus 5. Then from there, I can slash out my x on e my 2 off either side, and I get that x equals negative 5. Okay? Now remember, that only works when your x is one of the little numbers. So let's take a look at 22 and see how it's different. So number 22, my base is a 6. So to get rid of a 6, I have to use 6 on both sides. 6 and log 6 cross out. I have 9x equals, and then this is the same as a 6 up to the 1.4. So when I type that into my calculator, I'm going to do 6 up to the 1.4, just like that. And I get 12.29. It was a 286 originally. Divide by 9 divide by 9. And when I divide 12.29 by 9, I get x equals 1.37. And your answer. Okay? Uh, maybe a couple more from this section. Look at number 24. Notice that on 24, my base is not listed. It only says log. Whenever the base is, is left off, remember that means that it's a base 10. So if number 24 is a log base 10, the only way for me to cancel that out is to raise both sides onto a 10. So 10 and log 10 cross out. The 20x is going to come down. And then this is the same as 10 to the 2, or 10 squared, which is 100. Then from there, divide by 20, divide by 20, x is 5. Okay. Now let's look at a couple of the uh, ln ones. Remember, the only way to get rid of an ln is to e both sides. So I'm going to e it and e it. Remember that e and ln are going to cross out with each other. My x minus 4 is going to come down. And then e squared, I'll have to put that in the calculator. So I'll go e up to the 2, just like that. Okay, your E button is here. On your LN button, you just have to hit the blue key first. So second LN gives me E, then I plug in my 2. So I got 7.389, which is 7.39 when you round it. Then add your 4 across, and you are done. 7.39 plus 4 gives me 11.39. All right, bottom row, we'll do maybe one more. Let's do number 44. Okay, before you can solve, oh, this numbering is terrible. Uh, divide by 2 on both sides. Now, 5 will not divide evenly by 2, but remember, that's okay. We get lots of decimals in this unit. So 5 divided by 2, this crosses out. I get ln of 3x is 2.5. Then to get rid of the ln, just like we've done on all the other lns, you have to e both sides. So e and ln are going to cross out. My 3x is going to come down. And then e to the 2.5 gives me 12.18. From there, 12.18, I'm going to have to divide by 3 on both sides. And when I divide that by 3, I get x equals 4.06. Now, I did look at your semester exam, and it looks like most of them are rounded off to two decimal places, so I'm fine if you round off to two. Um, last one we're going to do together is 42. You need to combine these logs before you can E both sides. So if this is an ln of 3 plus an ln of x, remember that if it's a plus in the middle, then you have to multiply. So it would be the ln of 3 times x, which is a... 3x. Then from there I would e it and e it. So that e and ln cross out, 3x comes down, and then I need to figure out what e squared is in my calculator. Just like that. 
So E squared is 7.39. And then to get rid of the 3, I have to divide by 3 on both sides. So I have 7.39 divided by 3. And that gives me 2.46. 2.46. Okay. All right. Good job.